Good day everyone! Welcome to Math Made Easy with Mom Bell. And if you are new to this channel, Lovely Day with Bell, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell for you to be notified to my upcoming videos, okay? Our topic for today is about order of operations and whole numbers. But before that, let's have a review first on the four basic fundamental operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Do you know the difference among the four fundamental operations? Okay, so let's start with addition. Addition is a process of combining or putting together two or more numbers to get a new number called sum. And subtraction means you are taking something away from a group or number of things. When you subtract, what is left in the group becomes less. Multiplication is the process of multiplying the multiplicand by the multiplier, which is also called factors, that will give an answer called product. And division is the process of dividing large numbers by smaller ones. It involves a number called dividend and divisor. The answer in division is called quotient. Now you have already learned about the four basic fundamental operations, the addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. What if we combine two or more operations in one problem? Like for example, what is 3 plus open parenthesis 5 times 3 close parenthesis minus 2 equal 2? If the problem says add 3 to the product of 5 and 3 and subtract 2 from the result, it is easy to know what to do. However, if you are just given the problem such as 3 plus 5 times 3 minus 2, we don't know whether we should add 3 and 5 first or multiply 5 and 3 before adding. This makes one confused on what to do first and what is next. In this case, we need to follow the rules on how to do it correctly. Do you have any idea on how to do it properly? Okay, so let's go back to the problem. What is 3 plus open parenthesis 5 times 3 close parenthesis minus 2 equal 2? Okay, so to avoid confusion in solving problem like this, mathematicians in the course of time made the following rules to follow on order of operations on whole number. Order of operation is just a set of math rules that tell which operation to do first. Numerical expression is a mathematical sentence involving only number and one or more operation symbols. And to answer this numerical expression, 3 plus open parenthesis 5 times 3 close parenthesis minus 2, we should follow the PEMDAS rule. First, do the operation inside the parenthesis. Second, multiply or divide as they occur from left to right. And then third, add or subtract as they occur from left to right. PMDAS or PEMDAS stands for parenthesis, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. Let's try this example. Evaluate 63 divided by 7 plus 5 plus 2 minus 6 plus 3. In evaluating this example, we will use the PEMDAS rule. Okay, so first rule is do the operation inside the parenthesis. Then second, multiply or divide as they occur from left to right. And third, add or subtract as they occur from left to right. But since our example has no grouping symbol or parenthesis, we will continue with the next rule which is multiply or divide as they occur from left to right. So we will divide 63 divided by 7. So 63 divided by 7 is 9. Bring down plus 5 plus 2 minus 6 plus 3. And the next expression, we will apply the rule number 3. Because there is no multiplication and division in our operation. So, add or subtract as they occur from left to right. So, since addition comes first, then we will add. 9 plus 5 equals 14. And then bring down plus 2 minus 6 plus 3. Next operation is addition. Add 14 plus 2. The answer is 16. And then bring down minus 6 plus 3. Next is 16 minus 6, the answer is 10, 
and then bring down plus 3. And then we only have one operation left, which is addition. So 10 plus 3 equals 13. So the answer for 63 divided by 7 plus 5 plus 2 minus 6 plus 3 is 13. Let's have more examples. Number 1. Simplify 28 plus 60 divided by 12 minus 6 times 5 plus 2 minus 5. In simplifying this expression, we need to follow the MDAS rule since there is no parenthesis or grouping symbol in our expression. The rule that should be applied here is multiply or divide as they occur from left to right. Okay? So from left, division should be done first. Okay, so 60 divided by 12, the answer is 5. And then bring down all the rest of the numbers in the expression. Next operation to be done is multiplication. And still under rule number 1 of MDAS, multiply or divide as they occur from left to right. So from left, you will see 6 times 5 and the answer is 30. And then bring down the rest of the numbers and the expression. As you can see in our expression, the operations left are addition and subtraction. So we will apply the rule that says add or subtract as they occur from left to right. So from left, we will add first because the operation comes first is addition. So 28 plus 5 is 33. Next operation to be done from left is Subtraction. So, we will subtract 33 minus 30. The answer is 3. And then bring down the rest of the numbers in the expression. So, we only have two operations left. So, from left to right, we will add first. Apply the rule that says add or subtract as they occur from left to right. So, 3 plus 2 is 5. And then bring down minus 5. Then, we only have one operation left, which is subtraction. So, 5 minus 5 is 0. So, meaning, 28 plus 60 divided by 12 minus 6 times 5 plus 2 minus 5 equals 0. Our next example is, evaluate 12 plus open parenthesis 9 times 2, close parenthesis minus 5 plus open parenthesis 21 minus 3, close parenthesis divided by 2 again in answering this problem we will apply the rule of pm does okay so since we have parenthesis we will do the first uh, rule which is do the operation inside the parenthesis so 9 times 2 equals 18 and then 21 minus 3 equals 18 and bring down the rest of the numbers and the expression in this order of operation, division should be done first. Okay, so we will apply the rule, multiply or divide as they occur from left to right. So, 18 divided by 2 is 9. Then, bring down the rest of the numbers in the expression. Next thing to be done is add or subtract as they occur from left to right. So, from left, the operation comes first is addition. So, 12 plus 18 is 30. Then bring down minus 5 plus 9. Next is add or subtract as they occur from left to right. So 30 minus 5 equals 25. Bring down plus 9. And then 25 plus 9, that is add or subtract as they occur from left to right. 25 plus 9 is 34. And that's the final answer. What have you learned today? In order to solve problem involving more than two operations and whole numbers, we should follow the certain rule on order of operations. These rules are as follows. First, do the operation inside the parenthesis or grouping symbols. Rule number two, multiply or divide as they occur from left to right. And rule number three, add or subtract as they occur from left to right. You also learn that order of operation is just a set of math rules that tell which operations to do first. A numerical expression is a mathematical sentence involving only number and one or more operation symbols. It's practice time! Okay, so what you're going to do is just simplify the following expressions, okay? Let's 
that's all for today's lesson. Have a lovely day, everyone!